So we're going to start very simple uh, with a single single leg stance. This can be done pretty early in rehab for a grade one sprain. You might need to be able to do it in day one. For a grade two sprain, it might take three days. Basically, when you're waking up, weight bearing is tolerated, you can start with these single leg balances. So just start with the opposite leg uh, slightly elevated. You can put a little bit of a bend in the knee. If the knee is fully extended, meaning fully straight, then you're not going to challenge the ankle too much. So it's important that you do have a little bit of a bend in that knee. And I would recommend you try to go for 10 seconds or more as tolerated. If you start to lose control of the ankle, so we see some movement of the ankle, or we see your hips kind of go side to side, shoulders drop side to side, that's when you should stop the exercise because now we're training the floor more power. So what we have here is a nice little diamond or star kind of layout. Um, this is actually the same pattern for a star balance test. So you're going to start with the injured ankle in the middle of the tape. And you're going to do the same stance. So you want slightly flat, flat knees, a slightly bent knee, hips level, shoulders level. And we're going to use the unaffected leg to reach forward in the tape and just a very gentle tap of the toe. And we actually want to go all the way around this your tape circle here. So what I'm looking for is I don't want to see the ankle too much. I don't want to see the knee drifting side to side. Hips are level, shoulders are level. Very nice and controlled exercise pattern. And if you want to increase the difficulty of this, you can try to reach further with your distance. So challenging your center of mass more, and you can speed up the movements. Okay, so now that we have a uh, very good control with your body weight, we will now want to add some load to your movements. So uh, what we'll do first is we're going to work on that single leg balance. And you're just going to hold the weight in your opposite hand. So now we're adding a, a kind of counterbalance to that. A progression past this one is now to take the weight, single leg balance still, and do a kettlebell pass from arm to arm. Most people find this exercise very difficult, so make sure you have a weight that you can, that you can control um, well. So maybe a 10 pound, 15 pound to start. If you find that easy, you can start bringing the weight up further. Yeah. See how that's challenging you more now. Or you can increase to a heavier weight, which is going to be significantly more difficult. Another uh, kettlebell variation we can use is actually using a single leg deadlift. Um, so the, the term for this exercise is your single leg remaining deadlift. Um, again, this is going to challenge our ankle quite significantly. So you're going to get into your deadlift position. So your knees slightly bent. You're hinging at the hips, not the knee. And we're just coming down, good. So we're maintaining that deadlift position so the knee is not excessively bending. You can see the challenge to his ankle here. The ankle muscles are kind of um, gripping on hard there, which is good. So maintaining level hips, straight back, head is nice and neutral. We're not seeing any rounding of the low back, rounding of the upper back. And I would aim for starting with good six repetitions of this. Once you get up to 15 repetitions, you should then increase your load. So increase your kettlebell weight.